Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're regular here, you know the score by now. I review many photographic, audio and video related products. Well, today we're taking a look at a new camera bag and it's made by a very, very highly respected uh, manufacturer by the name of Billingham. They've been around for many, many years. I've been using their bags since the 70s, pretty much since when I started my uh, photography career, even as a hobby. And they are great, great bags. Um, they're not the cheapest of bags. So don't go out thinking that you'll be able to pick up a Billingham bag and it'll be cheap. It won't be, even on the second-hand market. They really do hold their value because they are so well-made, they're so well-designed, and they are great. And if you look at reviews on Billingham, you'll find everyone who's bought a Billingham love them, and I do. Um, I purchased, well, I've got various Billingham bags, but the one we're talking about is their new bag, which is the... Billingham, it's this one here, the Billingham Hadley Pro Small. So, um, hence the word the name small. It is a small bag. Um, it's not as small as their Hadley Digital. Bear with me a second, which we have here. I'm a bit of a Billingham freak. Do you know, Billingham is actually one of my favourite brands. I love Billingham products because they just go on and on. Cameras, yeah, they're different, they change. And, you know, Canon are bringing something out that Sony hasn't got and what have you. I'm using Sonys at the moment because I'm loving me Sonys. But this is the Billingham Small, Digital Small, I think they call this one. Designed again for mirrorless and predominantly one camera and maybe a lens, a pouch on the front here for accessories. But again, exceptionally well made, very comfortable to carry around. I love that bag. Um, so that's this small. But we're talking about this one here, the Hadley Pro Small. And there are quite a few differences between the Hadley Pro Small and the original... Hadley small which is this one here and the main difference is the well it's, it's various ones but one of the main differences for me is the handle on the top that is a great great feature for me it's a great feature me and my partner use uh, public transport a lot so it's great when you're getting out of a you know a train seat or a bus seat and you just grab the handle it makes a lot more sense for me with this one I had to strap the you know strap around my hand not so comfortable so that's one big feature also on the back they've put a document pouch uh, on the back here um that's great there's nothing on the back of the hadley small so you can't put anything in there. i use it for putting my mobile phone in but you can put passport whatever you like in it because it is zippable you know but the zips again like the studs and all the connections are so well made that'll we know that'll just last. That isn't going to snap or break. And it's got about a loop, not about loop, a loop for putting over your luggage, uh, luggage trolley or whatever. Um, front here, pretty much the same as the Hadley Small. You've got your uh, two pockets. They're expandable as well by using these little lugs, these brass fittings can make the pockets expandable. And You'll be amazed how much you can fit in this bag. I've been able to fit loads in my little Hadley Small. You know, batteries, little tripods. I've got a little tripod here somewhere. Well, I don't know where it is. But, um, yeah, that'll fit in there. Um, it has also got the removable inner sort of... I don't know what you would call this. The inner pouch with the cameras and lenses fit in. So you can actually take that out. It's, it's connected by a brass fit in there. A brass stud that locks it in place and then that comes out that comes all the way out and then you can use the bag as a casual bag so um, if you're going off on holiday I guess you can leave leave a camera stuff in your chalet or in your hotel room and just take this out of the night time as a casual bag um, I'm not so sure I would do that but that flexibility is built in and that just slots straight back in there and then that will clip onto there like so and it has the protective cover that the um, Hadley Small has so um, that's you know really really good and um, it also has re a removable shoulder strap whereby the Hadley Small hasn't you can see there it's a stitched in shoulder strap it's actually stitched in to the sides where on the Hadley Pro Small you can remove this strap um, Again, I won't bother, but you just unclip that and then that comes off. And because of that, you can actually fit their side pockets on. Um, I don't know how they fit on because I haven't got one, but they, I've seen pictures where they just clip on the side somehow. Um, 
So there's quite a few advantages over the Hadley Pro Small to the Hadley Small. And there's very, very little difference in price, about 10 quid difference in price. So definitely go for the Hadley Pro Small. And if you want a bigger bag, look at the other range. They've got a Hadley Pro uh, and many other bags, you know, that um, will, will suit your photography. In, in, as far as the um, inner pouch, it does come with these removable and adjustable inner sort of Velcro fitting pieces. Um, again, well made. Um, good, sturdy, strong, reliable camera bag. So there we go. That's the... Uh, Hadley Pro Small. But I said, the big advantage for me is the handle on the top. I think that's great. Um, and the pouch um, on the back. Oddly enough, I do find that really, really handy. Um, you just put, you know, whatever you want in it. So there we go. That's the Billingham uh, Hadley Pro Small for predominantly your mirrorless cameras. Got me Sony there, you know, plenty of lenses. You know, even if you stored it like that, there's a fair bit that you, you know, you can get in that bag. So, yeah, good bags. I hope you found this uh, review useful. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. That does help me grow the channel. And I really appreciate every subscriber. It means so much to me. It makes it so worthwhile doing these videos. And I'm getting some really good positive feedback now. So uh, that is also very, very well, um, you know, um, liked. Very, very well liked. What the hell does that mean? You know, appreciated. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, so here we go. Thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. And hit the like button if you found this content useful. There will be a link in the description to where you can purchase this bag from. Um, I've got an Amazon affiliate link uh, in the description. So you can purchase it via Amazon. I earn a few pennies. Not a great deal. But it, again, it helps me keep the channel going. So thanks very much. And uh, stay tuned for more videos relating to video and photography. If you're interested, um, I'm filming the main shot on my Sony a7 III uh, using the Atomos recorder, which is by the side of it. Uh, the uh, wide shot is on my Sony a6600, which is over there. Um, then one of the close-up shots is me uh, Sony a6100. That's getting these close-up shots. Then up there, uh, I've got my little ZV-1, Sony ZV-1. Um, filming sort of a wide generic shot. So there we go. That's what we're using today to produce uh, this particular video. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers for now. Bye.